I'll give you a concrete example. Um, I love Google Maps, use it on my computer, you know, in a browser. Uh, but when we were doing the iPhone, we thought, wouldn't it be great to have maps on the iPhone? And so uh, we called up Google, and uh, they had some, they'd done a few client apps in Java on some phones, and they yep. had a, an API that we worked with them a little on. And uh, we ended up writing a client app for those APIs. They would provide the back end service. And the app we were able to write, since we're pretty reasonable at writing apps, uh, blows away any Google Maps client. Just blows it away. Same set of data coming off the server, but the experience you have using it is unbelievable. It's way better than the computer. And, uh, and, and just in a completely different league than what they'd put on phones before. And you know, that client is, is the result of a lot of technology on the client, that client application. So when we show it to them, they're, they're just blown away by how good it is. And you can't do that stuff in a browser. So people are figuring out how to do more in a browser, how to get persistent state of things when you're disconnected from a browser, how do you actually run apps locally using you know, apps written in those technologies so they can be pretty transparent whether you're connected or not. But it's happening fairly slowly. And there's still a lot you can do with a, 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 a rich client environment. At the same time, the hardware is progressing to where you can run a rich client environment on lower and lower cost devices on lower and lower power devices. And so uh, there's some pretty cool things you can do with clients.